All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. The additional intentions of the celebration of this Eucharist are offered up for a special intention for crews and for doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers throughout the world. And so we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins, asking God for pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. A reading from the second book of the Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shunam, where a wealthy woman lived, who urged him to eat some food. So whenever he passed that way, he would turn in there to eat food. And she said to her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God, who is continually passing our way. Let us make a small roof chamber with walls and put there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, so that whenever he comes to us, he can go in there. One day he came there, and he turned into the chamber and rested there. And he said to Gehesha, his servant, What is there to be done for her? And Gehesha answered, well, she has no son, and her husband is old. He said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the doorway, and he said, At this season, when the time comes around, you shall embrace a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. I will sing forever of your mercy, O Lord. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth shall proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy is established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. How blessed the people who know your praise, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy forever day in your name, who make your justice their joyful acclaim. I will sing for your memory of your mercies, O Lord. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor it is that you might exult. Behold, the Lord is our shield. He is the Holy One of Israel, our King. Sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, all of us who have been baptized in Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, for we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin, once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So we also must consider ourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Declare the wonderful deeds of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his apostles, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet because he is a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, 
shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives to one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he shall not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Jesus bestows a love that transforms those who give themselves entirely to him, a love that builds up new contacts with the entire human race. Because a missionary is an extension of the presence and action of the Messiah, he or she can be sure of a favorable welcome. No matter how lowly or seemingly unimportant they may be in the eyes of the world, it is the presence of Christ which they bring. This role will only be fulfilled in the measure that the missionary offers himself or herself to Christ to serve him who is proclaimed and to whom all is revered and referred. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Respond positively to the Lord. Should he say to you, my child, give me your heart. When you do, there is no obstacle, no hurdle between you and the Lord. There is nothing more important than he. Let us now profess our faith in Almighty God as we pray the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial of the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The readings today remind us of the importance of sharing ourselves and simple generosity with God and neighbor. In the prayers we offer, we share the cares and concerns of our church, our world, and our community. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may continue to lead us as church in an example of the generous self-giving to God and neighbor. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church in South Africa that she maintain the caring attitude for those most in need, both material and spiritually. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the grace to always respond with generous of heart to God's will in our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for doctors, nurses, and all healthcare workers throughout the world, that the Lord grant them health, strength, and courage to accomplish their calling. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In silence, we bring our own prayers and petitions to Almighty God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father of mercy, you have called us to be generous people in imitation of your Son who gave his life for us. As you heard the cry of Elisha and the widow, grant favor to the prayers of your people, which we make through Christ our Lord. Bless to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. with us water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you Lord God Lord wash away our iniquity cleanse us from our sin Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his Amen. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Eugene de Mazinon, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, Wilfred and Abel our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Gathered as we are as God's children around the table of the Lord, we have courage to pray to our Father as Jesus taught us as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us turn to one another and offer a sign of that peace. the meaning of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us, receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, 
we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace proclaiming the gospel by your lives.